Hello everybody, my name is Brigal, and today I will be showing you how to build a Russian Roulette game engine. Uh, now, what do I mean by game engine? Well, um, I think we all know how regular Russian Roulette works. You take a pistol, you take a revolver, you put a bullet in one of the chambers, you spin the cylinder, uh, you hold it to your head, and you have a 1 in 6 chance of getting shot. So, yeah, very dumb game, never play it. But you can build this slightly a slightly safer version in Minecraft using this game engine. <laughs> now, this game engine, the way it works is well, basically you have an input where you would input maybe a button press or a lever pull or stepping on a pressure plate or paying a diamond or whatever, and you have an output which would be you know TNT or lava or arrows or whatever you want, and then this. <clears throat> whole machine here just does the logic behind that that gives it a 1 in 6 chance um, and an actual 1 in 6 chance and just like rand completely random like which ones will actually activate it. Uh, so as you can see here I built up just like a quick little demo station here. Um, please excuse my mess of spaghetti redstone. This is just kind of a demonstration so if we go into survival mode Game mode survival. You can try it out really quickly here. As you can see, I put a light up there to show when it can be activated. So we've activated it twice and nothing happened. And you can't activate it while the light is off, actually. That's a safety mechanism that I put in there. Um, here, if we just flip around oh, to over here, this redstone block stops it from activating, um, but I'll show you that when I show you the how to build it. Okay, so those all missed me, because I wasn't standing in the right spot, but you get the idea. Eventually, um, you would roll two of the same number, pretty much, that's basically what this is doing, and you would get um, an output. So really quickly, I'm just going to kind of walk you through how this machine works, and then we will do a tutorial. All right, please do excuse me if I do sound a little rough during this. I am recovering from something still. Uh, but basically, yeah, the way this works is you have your input block here. This is where whatever signal you would go to, you would have, would go to. So we're just going to really quickly just run this machine so you can see it running. All right, just like that. So here's what happens. So first, it runs through this monostable circuit here, which sends out a one tick pulse. Uh, and that does a few things. Uh, that one, make sure that um, you actually can't, uh, you know, leave it locked open or something. That uh, makes it so that it's always the same length of a pulse. Uh, does another thing. It causes this sticky piston to spit out its redstone block here. So it would end up here. And that would lock this piston here so it could no longer go back in. And so that stops you from activating the machine in the middle of an activation. Uh, it also starts some redstone clocks, well, just some little repeater clocks, uh, timers, down there running, but we'll get to that in just a bit here. It also powers these two dispensers, which have six shulker boxes, each filled with different amounts of materials. So that's like rolling two dice, pretty much. And then we have these two um, blue machines here. Uh, you could do whatever color or material you wanted to for these blocks, but basically this just figures out um, which shulker boxes are in the system and what number they correspond to. So as you can see, we've got six right here. And then it goes through this AND gate here. And this AND gate decides, well, figures out whether or not they are both the same shulker box. And if they are, this one of these redstone torches will get unpowered. It will power this uh, redstone line, and that will power this repeater. Um, so really quickly, let me just go ahead. Oh, okay, we can do that. I guess we can do that. So yeah, so here we'll run it one more time. So you can kind of see in there, possibly it didn't actually, here I'll run it one more, one more time so you can see. So yeah, you can see two different redstone torches went off, well on, and so none of these, nothing happened there. Uh, then down here we have this uh, repeater clock here. 
And so that does a few things. One, it does the timings for breaking the shulker boxes, which is these two pistons here. And it also uh, does the timing for this clock here, which will eventually send redstone pulses into each of these droppers here, and will send the item back into this dispenser here. So you'll always have the right one in six uh, chances of getting a match. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much how the machine works. I'll try to explain it kind of as I build it up over here. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get on with the tutorial for this. All right, so we're just going to come off over to this side over here. I'm going to show you how to build this. So first, you're going to get started by coming up five blocks off the ground. And then the second block down from this pillar that you've just made, go ahead and put a block on the side. And then you can just go ahead and remove that whole pillar thing there. Uh, then you're going to take an, a sticky piston, uh, and you're going to have it facing upwards off of this. Put a block on top of it, and then a block next to it right there. And then you're going to put a piece of redstone dust right on this block here, and a repeater going off of the sticky piston. Uh, you could also, I guess, put a repeater right here if you wanted to, uh, because you have maybe maybe you have some way you, you have to activate it that requires a repeater. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do a piece of redstone dust. Then you're going to come one block off of this repeater part here. You're going to come up one and down one off of it. And then you're going to come this direction um, one block as well. So everything is going to be coming off in this direction except for like one more block. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to break that middle block, put a piece of redstone on top of all three of these blocks that we have just placed. Uh, now we're going to go ahead, we're going to stick our sticky piston next to this block here and go grab this redstone block, put it there. All right, just like that over here, I'll also grab. We're going to need a slab as well. So we're going to uh, come up off of this sticky piston, and we can actually break this redstone for just a second here. Um, and we're going to put a slab right here next. So we're going to just come up one block, put a slab. Uh, you can go ahead and replace that redstone. Uh, then we're going to come one block in off of that slab. Gonna put a piece of redstone there and a sticky piston on your solid block. Uh, then we're gonna come down here. We come down and out one block from this block here. Put in another repeater. Uh, then we're also going to come around to this side, and we're going to just come down one block from here. We'll be two blocks off the ground, and we're going to put a repeater there, and we'll revisit that in just a second here. Uh, now. Right below, right on this piece of wool, or whatever block you decide, we're going to have an upwards facing dropper and a dispenser facing outwards like that. Then we're going to have uh, hoppers coming around and feeding back into it. Uh, do make sure that you don't have it like if it starts over here, if it like if it ends over here, you don't start it over here and wrap it around because that will mess up timings later. Uh, next, you're going to just put a block there in the center. Uh, then you're going to uh, come over here. We're going to grab some glass. Uh, and this block here has to be glass. The rest of this can be uh, solid blocks, maybe wool or stone or whatever you decide to use. I'm just going to use glass so we can see in there. And I recommend you use, you use glass as well. But yeah, we're going to put glass on both of these sides going to grab a comparator here. All right, we're going to put a comparator on top of this hopper here. And then we're going to come off of this glass block here in the middle, out to two blocks, and put a sticky piston facing into there. And then we can just go ahead and cover the rest of this up with glass, just like that. And then we're basically going to do the same thing up here. So upwards facing dropper, uh, dispenser facing away from the repeater, uh, block there, hoppers feeding into this dropper over here, just like that. Comparator on top of that one. Glass here. And we're going to come out two blocks sticky piston and then just cover the rest up with glass. Now we will stick in the shulker boxes 
in just a second here. Uh, but right now, uh, we're going to come back down here. Uh, we're going to come off of this block just by one. And then we're going to come in here and just over three. And then we're going to zigzag here just really quickly. Make a little three L right here. Um, you really just have to get to this point right here with a redstone line. I just kind of like to tuck it in like that. Uh, then we're going to put down three blocks like that. And then we're going to come up one block. And you're going to put in three repeaters set to four ticks on those three blocks there. Then you're going to come over to here. Put three blocks there right next to it. Piece of redstone dust there. Another repeater set to four ticks. And another piece of redstone dust like that. Then you're going to come up a block. And we need to go back over here. And grab a redstone torch. And we're going to build just a little torch tower here. So it's going to be torch, block, torch, block. Just like that. Uh, then we're going to grab our slab again. And on the back of this top sticky piston and its block, we're going to put a slab. And then on this one here, we're just going to come up one block off of this block here. And then you can just go ahead and put redstone all along there. All right, now we're going to build the next repeater clock. So we're going to go ahead and put a block there with another repeater set to four ticks. That's going to go into another block like that. Then you're going to build this little 2x2 two two platform here. Another repeater on there set to four ticks coming out of this block. And then a repeater going the opposite direction, uh, also set to four ticks. And then two pieces of redstone, redstone dust. And then you're going to put two blocks on top of there so that it doesn't connect with that li line back there. Then you're going to put a block here. And another repeater set to four ticks. So it's kind of a little line here. And then we're going to come up one block. As soon as I get to this other side. We're going to come up one block. And then we're going to do this little U thing here. Going to get another repeater set to four ticks. Lots of four ticks here. We're going to do another little U here. Another repeater. Again, set to four ticks. And then we're going to come onto the opposite side. As you can see, this is beneath our dropper, our bottom dropper. And we're going to come out to two blocks, and then up one. We're going to put two these pieces of redstone dust right there. And then we're going to build another tor middle, little torch tower. So we grab a redstone torch. We're going to come torch, block, torch, and then block there and a block there next to it. And then you're going to put a piece of redstone dust right there, and that is going to be activating this top dropper here. Then you're going to come out three blocks from that redstone torch over in one right to this sticky piston and put a redstone line just like that. So now if, I guess we can go ahead, just use a redstone torch for this. Oh wait, right here. There we go. So if we go ahead and we power this, as you can see, it all starts running and we get uh, all of this going over through. So now we're going to take a look at the shulker boxes that you're going to need to put into the system. So you're going to need, um, well, you don't really need to color code them, but I do recommend color coding them because it's going to be um, much easier to uh, recognize which one is in the system, especially if you have that glass. Uh, you can also name them. So the one shulker box is going to need three stacks of materials. The two is need, going to need five. The three is going to need seven. The four is going to need nine. The five is going to need 11. And the 13, no, no, the six is going to need 13. Just like that. All right, so we're going to grab all of these just really quickly here. All right, so we're going to come to our dispenser. And you just need a stick one of each type of shulker box into here and we do have a few extra slots so if you wanted to skew it in some way i suppose you could um, of course that would of course mess it up so you're going to need 12 shulker boxes in total for this uh, so now here we're going to go ahead just activate it one more time so as you can see we got two shulker, box shulker boxes in there and this whole system resets so now 
we need to build a system that detects which shulker box is actually in here. Alright, so now we're going to build the mechanism that det will detect which shulker boxes are in our little glass cases here. So off of this block here, uh, right beneath this hopper, we're going to come up three blocks. And then we're going to put a block coming back kind of into this machine here. And then we can go ahead and destroy that middle block there. Uh, then we're going to come out of the two blocks like that. And then in a block. And then we're going to put another five blocks coming in like this. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to come out a block. And then in a block like that. And then we're going to go up one and out one. Oops. Oh well. Uh, and then we're going to kind of loop this back around like this and come up another one and then we're just going to go ahead bring this all the way back over to here all right now we're going to start putting in some redstone so we're going to put a comparator coming out of this block redstone dust there on the corner another comparator like that redstone dust all along the top here and then redstone torches right there. All, so you're going to have six torches going from the end to about two blocks away from this comparator there. Uh, next, we're going to put two pieces of redstone dust along right there. I'm going to put a comparator set to subtract on the end of it. And then we're going to put down redstone all along here. And then we'll put a line of blocks just above this little strip here so that these lines don't connect. Then we're going to have another comparator going into that block there. Then we're going to take a chest on the back, not on the top, of this comparator. And you're going to fill it with all but three stack, three slots. So like all but three slots will be full in this chest here. Uh, and as you see, that will turn off all six of these torches here. Uh, so if we go ahead, we're going to I'm going to grab a button really quickly so I can demonstrate this much easier. Alright, so put a button there. So as you can see, uh, depending on which looker box we get, we will get a different torch going on over there. Alright, so now we're going to possibly, if you wanted to, you can take another uh, sort of material, whatever you want. Um, and then we're going to come up three, just like this we know actually you're just going to go ahead and kind of follow these wool patterns here uh, so this would be this very bottom spot here so we're going to come three and then in one and then one two three four five and then out one and then in one and then we come up one and then down one and then up one and then we would just bring this around like that and come up like that uh, and then we just do basically the same wiring here just like this make sure you get everything oriented correctly and placed properly ha look at this I built this machine and I'm still messing it up all right Yep, just like this. And you don't, again, you don't have to use um, wool or even these colors if you are using wool. I'm just using these um, to help illustrate which parts of the machines we're doing and to help me um, not lose track because I would do something like that. All right, so now we're going to put another chest on the back of this comparator and again, fill all but three slots of its inventory just like that. Oh, and make sure you have all the components in, just like that. All right, so now if we hit this button, yep, we will see two torches go off. Oh, and of course, that is the safety mechanism. Oh, look, we got two of the same. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to build the end switch to detect when there are two of the same, like we just got there. All right, so we're going to come off the block just behind this torch here. We're going to come out two. We can just go ahead and get rid of those. And then come over uh, so that all six torches have that. And then we're going to come up one. 
just like that and then and then we're going to go ahead and put repeaters on all of those and we'll put redstone torches on the back now we're going to do basically the same thing right here so come out two from there or three i guess and then drag it all the way across like that and then come up one all the way across like that repeaters going into there torches all along the back there and then we're actually going to leave this for a little bit here but we're going to come back here and on top of all these torches put a row of blocks and another row of torches on the back of those blocks then we're going to come up another block and we're going to put another row of torches and then we're going to come up another block like that and now we're going to put repeaters going into those blocks and torches on the top of them you could also put them on the side like this if you wanted to i'm just going to put them on the top because uh, that's how i decided to do it uh, and then you're going to put blocks on top of all those torches and a redstone line on top of those blocks then you're going to put a block coming off the side of that torch along with a repeater and that is the machine done all right so really quickly i want to show you one extra thing that you can put onto uh, this machine that will cause it to just infinitely run. All right, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need an observer and some redstone, and you're gonna want a lever as well, and you're gonna need some blocks as well. So you're gonna put a block in front of this redstone block here, an observer looking into it, and then you can just go ahead and get rid of that block. And you're gonna put a block behind the observer, and then just two pieces of redstone dust on there like that, and a lever on there like that. Uh, and this, that is that all done. So what you can do is you can just kind of like give this like just a quick flip, flick there. That will get this machine going. And as you can see, as soon as the machine resets, it then gets started all over again. So we'll go ahead, let's watch this for just a second here. Let's see if we can get one to actually, two to actually match. Yeah, let's take a quick peek into there. So as you can see, there are five in here. And then really quickly, it gets one more in there. And then it gets taken, one gets taken back out randomly. So that is the um, this mechanism down here working. All right. Um, yeah, so it's at this point, I don't... So if you want to turn it off, you can just go ahead and flick that switch. That'll make that stay up. And then you can just unflick it. And there it is off. Um, here, we'll do it one more time. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so basically, if you did want, hold on, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get rid of all this here. All right. So yeah, so we're going to go over really quickly how you would hook this up to, um, maybe whatever redstone machine you want to, want it to over here, like over this here. Yeah. So basically as i said before this is the input block right here um so what you would you do is you'd have you know maybe like you'd have a button press like we have here hooked up to it through a redstone line or maybe you'd have um i don't know maybe a comparator output uh from maybe like you have to throw a diamond into a hopper or something or maybe a pressure plate triggers it or something like that you can do whatever you want this is just the, like the logic engine behind what um the Russian roulette game and then over here we have our output which here I have a dispenser filled with some firework rockets uh, and so you basically you could take it off from pretty much anywhere around here your um, output um, but basic but I just have it coming off in this direction for showing you so like you could have it be here or you could even um, you know try to ex do some other crazy stuff with this this is just an ex an example and to make it a lot easier um, and then one other thing you can do is um, you can actually like put a piece of redstone dust or something coming off of this redstone block right here so that when it's ready to activate uh, this redstone line will activate so if we come over here you can kind of see that so we have this redstone line coming off of this uh, redstone block here that's going into this light that's letting us know that we can 
once again use this machine. And then of course we've got our whole, um, we've got a button on this block here, and then we've got this whole thing here that uh, runs this machine. And then we've got our output coming down back over to here. And of course you could do whatever you wanted with this. This is just kind of, uh, again, the logic behind the machine. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for this tutorial. I um, hope you did like it. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that awesome stuff. Uh, follow me on social media. Links are in the description. I will also leave a download link for this world in the description if you want to check these machines out really quickly. Or, uh, you know, copy them over some sort of schematics. I think this will work in any version that has shulker boxes. I don't think any major enough changes have been made to redstone um, to cause this to stop working. This is all pretty basic stuff. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So I will see you next time. Excelsior!